The Saab Gripen E is making serious waves in the world of fighter jets. Sweden, not a traditional military superpower, has produced an aircraft that's turning heads globally. Defense experts and air forces are taking notice. The Gryphon E, known as the Smart Fighter, is challenging the norms of aerial warfare. Its mix of advanced tech and cost-effectiveness is forcing even the biggest players to pay attention. The Gryphon E isn't about being the biggest or most expensive. It's about being smarter and more adaptable. Packed with cutting-edge sensors and a powerful electronic warfare sweep, it can outmaneuver pricier rivals. This jet is a showcase of Swedish engineering, proving innovation can level the playing field. In a world dominated by superpowers and their massive defense budgets, the Gryphon E is carving out its own niche. It offers top-tier performance without the astronomical price tag. More than just an export, it's a statement. Smaller nations can build world-class fighters. We'll explore what makes the Gryphon E so unique, how it stacks up against the competition, and why it's making even superpowers nervous. The Gryphon E is more than metal and electronics. It's a strategic asset. It's a game changer that could reshape air power doctrines for years to come. Understanding the Gryphon E is key to understanding the future of aerial warfare. This is the story of smart design meeting strategic necessity. Sweden's long-standing neutrality means it must rely on its own defense capabilities. The Gryphon E is a direct result of this mindset. Sweden's tradition of building its own fighters, like the Draken and Viggen, continues with the Gryphon E. It's tailored for Sweden's unique needs, defending long coastlines and vast, sparsely populated areas. The Baltic region's rising tensions demand rapid, flexible response. The Gryphon E can operate from dispersed locations, even ordinary roads making it hard to target. This flexibility is central to Sweden's defense doctrine. Affordability and ease of maintenance are key. Sweden needs a high-tech fighter that's practical and sustainable. The Gryphon E is designed for quick turnaround and simple operation, even with conscript forces. It's not just hardware, it's the spearhead of Sweden's defense strategy. Building on the success of curlier Gryphon models, it incorporates the latest tech to counter modern threats. For Sweden, the Gryphon E is about safeguarding sovereignty and maintaining independent defense. It sends a clear message. Sweden is serious about security. In an unpredictable world, the Gryphon E is a vital tool for national defense. The Gryphon E's advanced sensor sweep is a standout feature. Its Raven E05 ASA radar delivers exceptional situational awareness, tracking multiple targets in complex environments. The Skyward G infrared search and track system lets it detect threats passively, making it harder to spot. Saab's integrated electronic warfare system protects against advanced radars and missiles, jamming enemy sensors and deploying decoys. In modern air combat, electronic warfare is essential, and the Gryphonese suite is among the best. The jet's 10 hardpoints allow it to carry a wide range of weapons, from meteor air-to-air -air missiles to precision-guided bombs. This multi-role flexibility means it can switch between air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance with ease. The Gryphon E is built for network-centric warfare, featuring advanced data links and communications. It shares real-time data with other fighters, early warning aircraft, and ground station, creating a unified operational picture. This networked approach boosts combat effectiveness and coordination. The Gryphon E isn't a lone wolf, it's a force multiplier. Its adaptability and teamwork make it a valuable asset for any Air Force. The combination of sensors, electronic warfare, and network operations sets it apart. It's designed to outthink and outmaneuver, not just outdone its adversaries. The Gryphon E is a true 21th century fighter. Comparing the Gryphon E to superpower jets like the F-35 reveals key differences. The F-35 is a stealthy, high-cost platform. The Gryphon E focuses on advanced sensors, electronic warfare, and affordability. For many nations, the Gryphon E offers high-end capability without the massive price tag. Against Russian jets like the Su-35 and Su-57, the Gryphon E emphasizes superior avionics and situational awareness over raw power. Its ability to operate from dispersed locations complicates enemy planning. China's J-20 and J-10 show rapid progress, but the Gryphon E offers a proven, transparent alternative with reliable support. 
For countries wary of dependence on major powers, the Gripen E is a credible Western-aligned option from a historically neutral nation. It doesn't try to match heavyweight fighters one for one. Instead, it carves out a unique space as a cost-effective, network-enabled, multi-role jet. Its strengths, advanced sensors, electronic warfare, flexibility, and low light cycle costs make it attractive for modernizing air forces. The Gripen E is a different kind of threat, agile, intelligent, and adaptable. It's redefining what it means to be a modern fighter. The Gripen E's cost-effectiveness is a major worry for superpowers. While programs like the F-35 cost hundreds of billions, the Gripen E delivers much of that capability at a fraction of the price. This disrupts the high-cost paradigm and opens advanced air power to more nations. Its affordability means advanced sensors and electronic warfare are no longer exclusive to the richest countries. This shift can alter regional power balances, giving smaller nations tools to challenge established air superiority. The Gripen E's electronic warfare suite can counter even stealthier, more expensive jets, leveling the playing field. Its ability to operate from dispersed, improvised locations makes it resilient and hard to neutralize. Adversaries must target many potential sites, complicating their plans. This operational flexibility boosts survivability and sustained combat power. For superpowers, the Gripen E is a challenging opponent that's hard to pin down. Brazil's selection of the Gripen E over American and French rivals was a major endorsement. Saab's offer included local assembly and tech transfer, boosting Brazil's aerospace industry. The Gripen's appeal goes beyond Europe. It's a global contender. In international exercises like Red Flag and Arctic Challenge, Gripens have surprised with their effectiveness. Advanced data links, sensor fusion, and electronic warfare allow them to excel even against superior numbers. The Gripen E builds on these proven concepts, with pilots praising its intuitive interface and situational awareness. Fused sensor data and seamless information sharing give it a tactical edge. Imagine a flight of Gripens detecting threats passively, sharing data, and engaging from unexpected angles, all without giving away their position. The Swedish doctrine of teamwork and smart tech use is central to the Gripenese success. It's not just adopt the jet, but how it's integrated and operated. The Gripenese adoption by countries like Brazil proves its formula works in the real world. The Saab Gripen E stands out for its smart design, advanced tech, and cost effectiveness. It's not the biggest or flashiest, but it's engineered to be the smartest and most adaptable. The Gripen E challenges the idea that only massive budgets can deliver credible air power. Innovation and focused engineering allow smaller nations to field highly effective fighters. Its strengths, agility, electronic warfare, and dispersed operations let it challenge more expensive platforms. Many countries see the Gripen E as a viable alternative to superpower jets. For those seeking modernization without over-reliance on major powers, it's a compelling choice. The Gripen E is more than a fighter. It's a symbol of a changing defense landscape. The future of air combat will be defined by smart, networked, adaptable systems. The Gripen E is a lesson in modern air power and its influence is just beginning.